Welcome back guys. So uh, if you watch the channel, you know we've been jumping back and forth between the 300 and the 240SX. Um, the 300 is waiting for its brake lines right now. It's up in the driveway. So today is the 240SX's day. We have new drilled and slotted rotors and we have new ceramic pads to put on the 240SX. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse for that. And then uh, hopefully the clutch should be here in the next couple days. And uh, as soon as we get the 300 out of the driveway, we're gonna start pulling the transmission out of the 240 so we can put the new clutch in. Got all the brakes done on the 240 um kind of funny story i put all the new rotors and pads on and it still felt really hard to push and come to find out i didn't have the vacuum line hooked to my brake booster so the old pads and rotors were probably still okay but you know for the amount of money they cost since i don't have a swap it was super easy and cheap anyway so uh brakes are all done we're going to get started on the daunting task not daunting but more difficult task of taking the transmission out and replacing the clutch so Hopefully today we're gonna to get the transmission out and get the flywheel off so I can get that turned. And then hopefully before next weekend, we'll have it all put back together. So let's get to it. So we got the transmission out. There it is. She is a dirty bitch. Um, got the clutch and the pressure plate out. Um, first things first. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that on camera, but all these springs are loose. So this thing is just totally toast. Um, you can see there's some hot spots on the pressure plate. So last thing we got to get out is the flywheel. Um, I started taking it out the other day. I got three bolts out and I was using the crank bolt to hold the engine in place and it actually ended up loosening the bolt on my crankshaft pulley. So yeah, um, I got the impact gun from work, pretty strong one, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna take out the rest of them. So we're gonna go ahead and get that flywheel out. While we're under here, it really wasn't that hard to get out. Um, obviously we got some 
bell housing bolts. Um, a lot of people use long extensions. I don't really see the point in that. I can reach mine really easily from the top. So I took out, I think, three or four of them on the top. Did find out that my starter was missing a bolt, which is interesting. Um, obviously disconnect the wires. I disconnected the drive shaft right at the middle section here and uh, yanked that out. And uh, then took the transmission out, mount out. And then what I did was uh, I took a piece of wood, put it under the oil pan and just jacked the front of my motor up just a little bit, uh, just to give me a little more room and the transmission slipped right out. So let's go ahead and get this uh, flywheel out. See there's some pretty good hot spots around that too. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get the flywheel resurfaced. And uh, once we get it resurfaced, we'll get it back installed. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the transmission. We're gonna take a bunch of these parts and uh, we're gonna go to the pressure washer and wash them off. All right guys, so she's pretty dirty. I think we're gonna go ahead and do one, uh, try one of these. All right, and there we go. She's a little bit cleaner. Um, got all the surface grease off. Also cleaned up the mount, the throw out bearing holder, and the fork. And uh, I think we're ready to go. We have a few more things to remove before we can start putting new stuff on. So let's go ahead and take the master cylinder out, the slave cylinder out. We're going to remove the damper and we're going to remove the line between the master and the slave cylinder. So let's go ahead and get started. cylinder was the last thing and uh, that'll be it for this video we officially have the entire clutch system removed from slave cylinder to line to clutch to everything so in the next video we'll start putting everything back together stay tuned for that and uh, we'll get to see all the good stuff we're putting in so I'll see you guys on the next one if you like the channel like share comment subscribe thanks for watching